Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. My name is Nissa and today we're gonna take a look at a little pink birdie. And it's not gonna be the flamingo today or this time anyway. Uh, it's gonna be this one that shouldn't dive. Um, but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. We're gonna move it up here. This is the Rosewell Spoonbill and it is a mod created by Bubbly Wombs. I will say this is the part of my channel where I just look at the mod and tell you what I think. You are allowed to have your completely own decision on whether or not you're going to use the mods I put up here. I only download the mods that I think I'm gonna use uh, or are uncertain if I'm gonna use them uh, so therefore you won't see all of the mods here on my channel where we, if you look at Leaf Productions mod showcase he shows all of the new mod I go I go back and forward between new and old but I do believe this is a newer one I haven't seen it before anyways uh, and I have no idea what this animal is so let's go in and talk a bit uh, let's go in and read a bit about it here well it is pretty clear it's a bird and the young are so cute you see them here and we also have one we're gonna see move around a bit later a uh, population in the wild unknown they are from south and north america you see here at this lower part of North America not all the way up here but a bit down here where in this part it seems to be more a coast animal where in South America it, into the area um, they are placed in Mexico Florida Puerto Rico Cuba Brazil Par Paragu Paraguay Bolivia Argentina Chile Suriname and more they live in the aquatic tropical and timbered biome and one of them need a hundred square kilometers and 25 square sorry not kilometers square meters uh, and water 25 square meters they don't need any um, deep water because they don't supposed to dive if you want to add an adult that takes what five extra square meter and one extra square meter of water if we instead add a young that's three extra square meter and ex one extra square meter water they live from 15 to 40 degrees celsius and you need a grade three fence which is 6.6 .6 feet tall that would be a bit above two meters roughly um in here you can see <laughs> it's kind of funny actually a group size can be up to 80 individual no matter what but if you have mixed group then uh, no more than 79 or 79 of each but you can have an 80 group of all of them there are no dun dominance between them and they are monogamous meaning that if you want three females that all get pregnant then you also need three males they are neutral about humans and humans can enter the habitat they are 34 inches long which would be times that with two and a half that would be 70 around a meter <laughs> something like that long uh, and they will live up to 15 years they will they weigh up to four pounds that would be around two kilos so it's kind of a small bird uh, a small of these big standing up 
boats like flamingo and stork and cranes which is kind of what I'm comparing it to. I'm not sure if that's wrong, but it's kind of could look like one of those. They reach sexual maturity already after 16 weeks. That would be roughly four months. And they can reproduce until death. They get one baby a year and it takes them one month to incubate the egg. They should be easy to breed in captivity. Then interspecies enrichments, they actually got quite a lot. The ba Sorry if you follow my channel, you know I'm never gonna pronounce this word correctly. But the tapir, capybara, Colombian white-faced capuchin, Galapagos giant tortoise, giant anteater, llama and spectated caiman. We actually see with a lot of these new mods that they actually do uh, get a lot of interspecies enrichments and it's wonderful. They do like some toys, it's the same as the crane, uh, sorry the same as the flamingo. I also think it's the same as the crane but I'm not sure. So we have the uh, herb scent marker, the sprinkler system, the mirror thingy <laughs> and the waterfall thingy. The only food enrichment is this piece that I hate. I'm not hating that that's the only food enrichment piece there is. I hating this thing overall because it's big, it's clumsy. You need to work a lot around it if you want to hide it and the, you don't have any sizing in, in there. It, only the size and if you only have a few animals uh, then you don't need to have a lot of animals before you have need to have multiples of these so issue with this not with this <laughs> but uh, now let's see the birds and i already now noted some glitching if i'm gonna start the time we might see it yeah there you see it Right here at the wing, it's like it doesn't know which way to be pointed. Well, the beak go through the uh, sorry, the feathers, which isn't weird. A lot of awesome animals from Frontier does that. Um, it's the most issue when they make the pose with the leg up, but it's does it all over. Uh, for some people it's a deal breaker, not necessarily for me if the rest of the mod is good. <laughs> it looks like it bald on this part, which I actually like. We have multiple animals that does that, including... Um, what's it called? Including the emu, for instance. We have a ear hole. It aren't made as a whole it's just made it with a spot uh, which it could be better if you actually made a hole but it's fine because who's gonna notice this close in uh, from out here you it looks like the ear hole it should be um, then we Let's get a bit closer here. The eye, I love the eye. The eye is so beautiful and not glittery, but shiny, uh, which a lot of eyes are. We have a lot of texture here, which is mostly painted on, but it still looks good. And then the texture here is extremely good. Then out here, it looks like the most of the texture, again, is made by in here by painting but out here we actually get a lot of texture um, and the beak I think it's called looks very well from down here it does look a bit pink inside there um, but that really wouldn't be the weirdest thing I have seen on a mud let's go further down here this looks very nice Again, the feathers on the neck of these kind of animals are usually that small, so it would look kind of like hair anyways. Then the feathers here looks okay. It, it, 
really there haven't been too much love put into these feathers but the paintwork is beautiful but these look at these i haven't seen this before in a mud at this point but we actually got the same here with the crane where and this is frontiers work where it looks weird this the way that normally these white feathers would go out a bit here and cover some of this starting point um so i think that might be why it does the same over here uh, it actually covered a bit better over here than it is on the actual crane um again the wings doesn't look that great um, but if you remove that blur, I actually think that's part of the leg. It looks like the same color. It goes up there, maybe. Um, because if you remove that, the wing would actually look fine. Um, not the best wings we have seen, but it looks per perfectly fine. So it's kind of a weird mud in the sense that some places it seems like there have been a lot of work done uh, for instance the feathers here they are covered better here than the, it, they are on the crane but then you have this one feather that just sticks up which it would never do um, going down here looking at the legs they have a lot of texture um, It kind of looked like the texture from the uh, flamingo here. Does the crane have the same? Yeah, the crane has the same texture. I think they were made on the uh, crane rig because of when you look at it, the flamingo are more uh, horizontal. What's it called? Uh, more like a, a straight line from the bottom of the neck to the tail feathers and the crane when it stands up anyway it's more like a uh, line this way and it does seem like this beautiful bird have more of this angle so therefore I think it's made on the crane now the swimming is an issue that it's dive but here you can see a lot of the flamingo mats I've been going over and you can see here it's uh, diving. One of the flamingos actually does the same and it is because when it made on a bigger rig then maybe the computer think the rig would be this tall so it thinks the head is up here so when it dives the water would go like this and the head would still be fine so it can't actually see that the hits are down here. Um, so that's a thing. I think mothers have been better lately to do that overall. But we also need to remember there's a lot of mother out there and some of them are really good at working together and some of them like to work on their own. And both of these things are totally fine. Um, but it will, of course, it takes time for one mother to crack something and how to do it uh, before all of the mothers out there know it. But here we can see when it turns its head, it looks fine. Again, we have the glitching down here, but I'm kind of trying not to look at it. Here you can see, I think that's the greater flamingo. Yeah. It works very well. It has this bubbly movement with the upper body, which a lot of bird gets when they are this tall. Uh, they, their legs are actually only able to bend uh, backwards uh, here. The knee can only bend that way. The ankle can also only bend that way. And then up here, it can only bend this way. So they can't actually sideways, sideways uh, what's it called, even anything out. So therefore, a lot of birds with long legs get this bubbly movement. 
But uh, if we just imagine that the head is up here, the water uh, animation actually works fine with it. Now you get up here and you're stuck in the ground. That's uh, again a game thing, not the mud thing. And uh, while we are on down here, actually look at this. The, this is a baby rose na rose aid spoonbill <laughs> sorry it's kind of hard to pronounce uh the head is mostly above water this is because this are made as a juvenile uh, and if even in and especially if you have juvenile scaling it is easier to tell the computer which size it actually is but let's get it um land and see how it moves up here i really like i like the coloration here it's pink but not pink and it's got this tiny oh can you just stay here for a moment it got this sweet coloration at on the beak that is actually a darker more reddish color up here uh, that's really cute and it looks fluffy now a lot of fluffiness get this issue when you place them in front of the sun where you can actually see the animal's line here and then the rest was just placed as, as feathers or fur on top of it <laughs> uh, as long as you don't do that it doesn't look that weird um, and especially one thing you can have an issue with I have sometimes not always is depending on your computer the fluffiness of a uh, animal can really look weird uh, this isn't the most fluffy animal but it do have some fluff um but it looks fine and i love the small chicken wings there they are cute and you can clearly when you look at this it clearly looks like a baby when you look at the flamingo babies they look like a gray smaller flamingo where this actually looks like a baby wow should we just watch you move a bit oh you're running <laughs> oh it have really good movement yeah it's cute so I want, don't want to talk too much today, guys. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell on notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments or in the next video. Bye, guys.